Weekly Renewal is brought to you by Calvo Select Care. Hoppa day, I'm Claire Calvo bringing you your weekly renewal with part two with Dr. Jerry Rivera de Genio. Okay, so you bring up energy and you know, we hear especially now, everyone talks about vibration and frequency and energy. And for most people, we can understand it on a cognitive, right, intellectual level. But experientially, is that pretty much the way, if someone tries the technology of Rasha, what exactly happens as they're, as they're sitting there? Okay, so imagine, uh, you know, most people, I'd say 99.9% .9 of the people are stressed and yeah. re they're in a state of anxiety and stress. Well, you get on the Rasha because we use sound, right? We, we use a sound uh, chair and we have our Rasha device. It transmits sound and it relaxes the body's autonomic nervous system which is responsible for fight or flight or rest and relaxation and healing. So what a person can experience is rest, <laughs> relaxation, <laughs> right? No anxiety. Right. So yeah, that's what most people come off feeling. Okay, because yeah, I, I think it's pretty much accepted that stress is the underlying cause of the disease, right? Whether it's mental, emotional, physical. Mm -hmm. And so, especially after these past few years, mm -hmm. um, there is a heightened awareness and people I just feel are more concerned about their overall health and wellness, holistically, right? Not just physically, but mentally, emotionally. So if one was to go on, like what is the range of different ailments or diseases that someone sitting on the Rasha right. benefit. Right, well you said it best, right? Um, if someone's in stress, right, that means they have inflammation. So if you subscribe to the belief that inflammation causes disease, right, mm -hmm. and you lower stress, which lowers inflammation, then it doesn't matter what pathology or condition one has, right? As long as you lower that stress level, you lower the inflammation, uh, the inflammation, mm. ergo, you lower the chance of dis-ease. So it doesn't matter what pathology you have. Mm -hmm. As long as you can get to that state of what we call parasympathetic, which is a state of rest and relaxation, mm -hmm. guess what? The body heals itself. And that's what we're talking about here, reclaiming the natural ability for the human body to heal itself. So would you say it matters whether or not it's stage one cancer or stage four? Let's just say energy, mm -hmm. right? Consciousness mm -hmm. can address any pathology. Let's leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And okay. So I know and initially I asked if there was a, a layman's way of explaining yes. um, how this actually, because you know, I think for, for most people, conventional medicine, they're, they're thinking that if there's uh, some sort of physical issue mm -hmm. that you deal with it in a physical way. Sure. So this dealing with more of consciousness, yes. how can you explain mm -hmm. that by, whether it's epigenetics or, or can, is there a way to explain epigenetics? Yes. So in a layman's yes. term, right? Well, it's like this. Um, most people think that because they're, like to say they're sick or they have a disease, that you need to treat it from, let's say the physical biochemical perspective, yeah. right? I mean, that's what medicine is based upon. Right. And, it, and you know, it natural, natural medicine versus Western medicine, that's a whole nother topic. But let's just say, we deal with energy, mm -hmm. okay? And everything in quantum morphogenetic physics, including you, me, this table, mm -hmm. actually downsteps, it comes from energy. Everything, everything made of matter comes from energy. So if you want to fix a cell, if you want to de-stress a human being, if you want to work on say, a disease or a mutated cell, mm -hmm. you need to work at it from an energy level, right? Right, Because that is the foundation, mm -hmm. not the other way around. Right. So if you can change what's known as 
a morphogenetic energy field, which is the blueprint of, say, a cell, you can change that cell. So um, that's also why I think a lot of people are turning more now than ever to meditation mm -hmm. or to even if it's just some sort of meditative like yoga or tai chi gong. Correct. So the so as far as the rasha goes, is this pretty much taking those practices or those tools and to a magnified uh, level? Yeah, so there are many people that have tried to meditate and there are many people that are very proficient at meditation. But you know, those that are seeking to be better meditators, five minutes on the Rasha and it's almost like they, they were master Tibetan meditators that have set, spent 30 years in a cave. Wow. I mean, it's that profound because once the body, right? And once the brain comes into a hemi-sync, right? The brain hemi-syncs, mm -hmm. you become in the state of zero point or what meditators call no mind very quickly. Wow, this is all very incredible. Yeah, I mean, how do you feel? I feel amazing and right. that's, yeah. So That's why I feel it was important that we get this out there. Right. And luckily here on Guam, people will soon have access if they like to the Rasha. Yeah. Um, is, is there anything else that you'd like to share before we close? Anything, any message yeah, to the I, island? Sure, I, look, as long as you're breathing, mm -hmm. right? It doesn't matter if you're a drug addict or if you're a stage four, you know, suffering from stage four cancer. As long as you're breathing mm -hmm. and you're breathing and you're alive, there is hope, okay? So that's what I'd like to say. It, it is never, it's never hopeless. As long as you're alive and breathing, there's always a chance that energy can literally shift and change your life. And that's about it. Beautifully said. Okay. Thank you so much, doctor. Fantastic. And thank you all. I'll see you next time on your weekly renewal. Weekly Renewal is brought to you by Calvo Select Care.